or the young man would be raised in the house looking at daddy and taught to be independent. So he would look at dad, see how dad would take care of mom, see how dad would take care of the bills, see how dad would love up on her and treat her right and cherish her. So he would look at all of these things and he would glean from these things because the man was in the house and he had an image that he could imitate and emulate. So he would look at this and they would train him to be independent. So at, at 17 years old or 18, when high school was over, guess what? Boom, you were out the house. Because you were taught to be what? Independent. You were raised in such a way that you could take care of a family once you leave the home. Thirdly, you are a generator. Generator really means to transform something from one state to another. So while it's in there, it's going through the transformational process. And then a life giver, you give life to it. Yes. So whatever a man gives to you, first you receive that thing, yes. and then you incubate that thing. You give life to it. That's like a vision when a man gives you that vision. And then you generate that thing. Whatever it was when he gave it to you, it starts to transform when it's inside of you. Mm -hmm. And then you give life to that thing. So it might be a seed. I got an example in the room. It might be a seed, but it might be nine months later. You said, baby, this is what you gave me. <laughs> so whatever you get, you go through this process. Yes. And let me tell you something, once you go through this process, you become attached to that thing. Yes. So whatever experience you go through in life, whatever happens to you when you're young, whatever you go through in life, guess what? You go through these phases and you attach to these things that you go through Amen. in life. And this is why you have to be so cautious not to let the wrong man sow a seed inside of you. Amen. Commit. Amen. I mean, there have been times when I just said, man, this is just not gonna work. But then you have to evaluate the relationship and says, and say, what could this really be if we stay together? If we commit it to our vows, if we commit to what God has in store for marriage, what could this be? If you just heard me, I said I have been at my new church for two years and things are really well in my life when it comes down to it. So at this point, Jesus is going to have to sit on my lap and be like, it's okay to talk to him on these because if things pop off and they end up, you know, going into a bad route to where we don't end up being together, he has got to leave the church because I'm not going anywhere. That's all I can do because ain't no testing the waters. Ain't no going under the hood. You understand? You know, ain't no test driving. Nothing. You understand? I just got to pray and trust, just like I trust him with my life. Yes, I trust him uh, with everything, yeah. or every decision. I trust God with that stuff. So I trust yeah. that he is going to connect me Do it, with someone <laughs> that will be able to deal with me because he know me. I believe every woman, every person, um, but specifically women have some insecurities about their physique and their body and their face and their hair or whatever it may be. Um, and my job is not to say what the world is saying to her. Um, my job is to say the opposite of what Jesus is saying. I'm not, for real, not to be, you know, but um, one of the things that I'm learning personally is, you know, sometimes I walk out and I'm like, come on, Jane. You know, um, and I'm sure she feels the same way about me, but she doesn't express that she she embraces who I am. Um, so that's one of the things with the cultivate um, that I'm learning is like my job is not to say to echo um, them, but to echo what she's saying. So that's that's something to say. And, that's what and if you do, that's good. But if you don't, God still is able to do more than enough. So I just want to encourage those that don't have all the word and all of the scriptures, because I sure don't, um, that God is still able to use you, use your marriage, use your, use you um, to be the woman that God wants you to be. I just want to add that.